it's a very important uh, question. This question deals with lot of knowledge. This question is dealing with uh, lot of knowledge. Okay, so we will deal it one by one. Okay, and this question is also having certain uh, content from external sector balance of payment. Okay, so we will see that. Okay, now we will see that. Okay, we will read one by. If you have any doubt, ask me. Okay. External liability. What do you mean by external liability? What is a liability? Borrowing. Liability is debt or a borrowing. What is external liability? You are borrowing outside the country. It is a foreign loan. Okay. External liability reported in the union budget. Which year this question was asked? 2002. It is an old question. Okay. Reported in the union budget. External liability reported in the union budget are based on historical exchange rates. See, what is exchange rate? Exchange, see, if you are borrowing a foreign currency, you have to exchange your for, uh, foreign currency with Indian currency. You have to convert. You have to convert. If you are, for example, if you are borrowing in dollar, when it comes to India, you will convert that dollar into Indian currency. That is what is called as exchange rate. And you know that budget, everything is mentioned in rupee only. So, the foreign loan also will be converted it into Indian rupee. So, that is, a, a, now what is this historical exchange rate means? When, which year, which year you are borrowing from the outside the country? That is external debt. What is the, that time exchange rate? For example, in, this is the 2002 question. So, if the government have borrowed in 1996. So, when the government borrowed in 1996, what is the exchange rate? For example, it will be one dollar is forty-two rupees. Now it is seventy-three, seventy-four. That time it was one dollar is forty-two. So, what? How it will calculate it? Into forty-two. How much dollar it has into forty-two, and that money will be reflected in the budget. So, is the statement is correct? Yes. What is it? External liability. Where this external liability will be coming? Here. Liability loan, na? It will come here only in the capital receipts. Loans always comes in the capital receipts. External liability reported in the union budget are based on historical exchange rate. Learn it. It's a UPSC question. It's a correct statement. So first statement is correct. First statement is correct. If first statement is correct, can we eliminate any choices? Yes. We can eliminate C. Then the continued high borrowing. What is this continued high borrowing? Because of high fiscal deficit, we are borrowing. We are borrowing more. The continued high borrowing has kept the real interest rate high in the economy. You know, now, <coughs> now you need to understand. Budget is all about government. Okay. So, if the government is, now imagine. Government is borrowing from the domestic. Imagine the government is borrowing from the domestic market. Okay. Now, before going to the government side, think about you all are individuals. Imagine in your area there is only one bank. Imagine you all are living in one particular small village. Consider, I am just giving a small, you are living in a small village, and that is why when I say one bank, then not every village happens. Cities, it will not happen. Okay. You are living in a village, there is only one bank. And all of you want loan. All of you want loan and you are approaching the bank. But bank has limited fund. So when all are demanding for loan, what the bank will do? Bank will increase the interest rate. Same thing, if the government is borrowing more and what will happen is that the private investors, the business people, they find it very difficult to borrow if they if they are borrowing the interest rate will be high so it's very simple if there is more borrowing if there is more anything if it is more if there is more demand for money borrowing more means if there is more demand for money what will happen to the interest rate the interest rate will increase so the continued high borrowing has kept the real interest rate high in the economy the statement is also correct the statement is also this question is very important because it's conveying lot of knowledge so, second statement is also correct. Which one we can eliminate? 
B can be eliminated. <coughs> Third, the upward trend in the ratio of fiscal deficit to GDP. What does it mean? Upward trend in the fiscal deficit. It means more borrowing. Upward trend. What is fiscal deficit? It is the borrowing of that particular financial year. So, the, continuously, up, continuously there is increase in the fiscal deficit to GDP. In recent years, has an adverse effect on private investment. Now, the businessman, businessman, see, government, private, okay, private sector. When the government is borrowing more, the private investors will have the, if they try to come and borrow from the market, what will happen? Interest rate will be high, that we discussed. If the interest rate will be high, what the private sector will do? They will borrow, they will borrow less. And if they borrow less means, see, the private investors, what they do? They borrow money for what? For investment purpose only. See, why you are borrowing money? Why you are taking housing loan? To build a house for investment. Okay, so if the, if the government borrowing is more, what will happen to the real interest rate? Real interest rate will be high. If the real interest rate is high, what will, what will the private sector will do? They will borrow less. If they borrow less, what will happen to the private investment? Private investment will be less. So, it will have an adverse effect on private investment. So, third statement is also correct. <coughs> now, actually, what I will suggest you, you need not to spend time on the third statement. Now, I, I explained this concept, that was very important. Now, what are the two answers? Either A or D. In A and D, 3 is there. So, you spend time on it. It's correct. Already it is. By knowing 1 and 2 is correct. By knowing 1 and 2 is correct, you, you eliminated B and C. Now, your choice is having A or D. In both A and D, 3 is there. So, it's known. 3 is correct. So, this is how you have to, when you, in your prelims day, or when you attempt model test, you have to apply these techniques. Okay, you have to, because you don't have time, you have to save time. So, but why I'm explaining this? I want you to understand with the means the, uh, the conceptual clarity. When what is the problem of fiscal deficit? If the fiscal deficit is high, problem is interest rate, real interest rate will be higher. It will affect private investment. These are all negatives for an economy. Other than the impact it will have on the government, like higher interest payment. Okay. Now the fourth statement will decide our answer. So third statement is also correct. <coughs> it's a simple interest component are the single largest component on the revenue expenditure. Non-plan. Now I told you, plan and non-plan is now over. Now they will not use the word non-plan. So question will be like this: interest payment. The single largest component in the revenue expenditure. Not only in the revenue expenditure, if you take any expenditure, interest payment is the largest component. So, answer is, fourth statement is also correct. Your answer is D, 1, 2, 3 and 4.